Hello and welcome to our podcast. Today's podcast is about our new monthly solution spotlight, where each month we are going to explore a different IBM solution group from automation to security and beyond. Through blogs, videos, social media posts, we'll give an overview of the solutions and provide an in-depth look at some of the key products. This month, the spotlight is on automation and in today's program, we'll discuss digitization and what it means, provide some steps to help you get the most of your digital transformation and finish up with an introduction to IBM's powerful document capture tool, IBM Automation Document Processing. And to help me with all this, I'm thrilled to introduce today's guest speaker, Claire Coleman. Claire, can you introduce yourself to our listeners? Hi, it's great to be here. Um, I'm a contractor that's worked with DataSkill over the past several years. Um, I've helped many businesses improve their operations and achieve their goals using DataSkill solutions um, and IBM solutions. Uh, In particular, I specialize in data analytics and helping companies extract valuable insights from their data. Okay, great. So I'm I'm guessing you've seen some changes with regards to data over the past few years? Oh, yes, definitely. I mean, the amount of data available to enterprises is constantly growing, Um, but also the types of documents are changing. Data is no longer just found in forms and databases. Uh, It can be in emails, social media posts, barcodes, websites, images, um, voice notes, videos. Um, Sometimes the documents are digital and sometimes they're handwritten. And then there are sensors and IoT devices, um, data from applications. So today's data is really complex. And the challenge is to extract the true value of that, your data, you know, whether it's unstructured or structured. So, yeah. Right. Okay. But but given all that, companies are accelerating their digitization journeys. They're moving away from manual paper-based processes to streamline, digitized, and automated workflows. Why is this? What, what do you think some, are some of the main reasons with paper processes that you've seen in your experience? Well, there's several issues with paper-based processes um, that we see time and time again. Uh, firstly, they're incredibly inefficient. Processing paper documents takes up a lot of time and labor, um, and it's prone to errors. Um, Even when you're using OCR technology to help automate the process, there's still a lot of manual data entry involved, and that's open to human error. Okay, yeah, and and that can lead to mistakes, which can be costly for business, right? Yeah, exactly. Mistakes can cause delays, which can have a ripple effect on other parts of the business. Um, It can also damage customer satisfaction levels. And correcting errors take up valuable time and employee hours. And those that time could be spent on other tasks. So it's not just about the time and money spent on processing paper, but also the potential impact on the business as a whole? Yeah, that's right. You know, another issue with paper processes is the cost of storage. Um, Paper records take up a lot of physical space, which could be put to better use. And then there are the costs associated with securing and tracking paper records, especially if they contain confidential information. Okay, yeah, and I guess there's also a risk of losing or misplacing paper records, which can be a big concern. Absolutely, yeah. The average cost of a lost record is estimated to be $150, and that doesn't even take into account the potential damage to a business's reputation if sensitive information is lost or stolen. Okay, so the the solution is digitization, digitalization. Okay, hang hang on a minute. I'm, I'm confused. Are we talking about digitization or digitalization here? And I'm really struggling with to be able to say either of either of those. Um, <laughs> so what is the difference? Um, yeah, so digitization is making analog information into digital form, whereas digitalization is replacing the manual process with a digital one. And to help you out, it's also referred to as digital transformation. Okay, okay. So so as I understand it, digitization is things like taking paper documents and scanning them in to create digital copies and digitalization goes far beyond that. Yes, you're right. One aspect of digital transformation is the, this concept of going paperless, but more than scanning 
paper forms in. It's actually that move towards completing such forms in a digital format. So, you know, using a web page or an app to complete the forms. Um, and we've seen how this can affect not only individual businesses, but whole segments of society, such as government, healthcare, science. Um, it, it's but it's more than that. Digital transformation is actually about using automation and ultimately the goal should be towards straight through processing. So automating the process so that the majority of cases can be performed without any human interference. Um, so that the, you know, um, the employees don't actually have to step in and be involved. So this is um, enterprise wide intelligent automation, and it's really enabling transformation at a whole new level. OK, well, I've heard the phrase digital transformation a lot over the past few years and increasingly more since the pandemic. I guess it's become a, a buzzword, but COVID-19 really highlighted how operations can be devastated by unexpected events. Organisations need to be dynamic, responsive and interconnected. Definitely. Uh, at Data Skill, we've seen how those companies who embrace digitalization, this digital transformation and automation, they're able to outperform their competitors. In fact, a recent IDC paper sponsored by IBM showed that companies with AI powered automation solutions were 34% more efficient in IT operations and they had 30% higher developer productivity. Um, and then when a IBM commissioned Forrester Consulting to do a um, total economic impact study, they found that the composite organization experienced 80% improvement in productivity over three years. Okay, I think we can all agree then that digital transformation is a complex process. Uh, you're trying to incorporate digital technologies into every aspect of your organization. So how do we ensure that your digital transformation journey is successful? Uh, here would be some tips to keep in mind. Uh, first, Remember that digital transformation is a journey, not a destination. Have a long-term plan that aligns with your overall business goals and involves all stakeholders in the organization. This means engaging with your IT team, employees and customers to ensure that everyone is on board and understands the goals of the digital transformation. Second, don't be afraid to start small. It's tempting to try and transform your entire organization at once. But this can be quite overwhelming and ultimately counterproductive. Instead, focus on a specific area of your business that can benefit from digital transformation and start there. This will help you build momentum and gain buy-in from your stakeholders as you move forward. Thirdly, prioritize the customer experience. One of the main goals of digital transformation is to improve customer experiences and engagement. This means taking a customer-centric approach to your digital initiatives and involving them into design process. Make sure that your digital services are easy to use and accessible to all, regardless of technical expertise. Fourthly, invest in data analysis and use it to inform decision making. Data is the lifeblood of digital transformation, and it's important to collect and analyse data to, me to measure your progress and identify areas of improvement. Invest in analytic tools and expertise and use data to inform your digital strategy over time. Finally, work with trusted partners who can bring ex expertise and value to your digital transformation journey. Data Skill has experience in a wide range of industries and can help you navigate the complexities of digital transformation. We'll take the time to discuss your particular business case and provide you with case studies illustrating the returns our customers have been able to achieve. So there you have it, some tips for ensuring a successful digital transformation journey. Well, OK, so we've looked at what digital transformation is and I've learned how to say it. So that's that's good. Um, and the steps you can take to help ensure that your digital transformation is successful. What I'd like to know now is a deeper dive into one of the key digitization components, document capture. As we mentioned, Data School's key focus is helping customers get the most out of their data. And in the past, we've discovered discussed the capabilities of IBM DataCap. But for today's session, we wanted to introduce you to IBM Automation Document Processing. Before we start, I just wanted to remind you that if you want to refer back to this information, then you don't need to take notes as we've prepared a handy PDF. 
It will go over all the information that we discussed today and provide some links for further resources. The PDF is available from our website as part of our monthly solution spotlight. So just head over to dataschool.com and we'll get you it sent over to your inbox. Right, Claire, to start off, could you tell us a bit about what IBM automation document processing is? Of course. Um, when we talk about automation document processing, we're referring to the use of artificial intelligence and machine learning to automate the extraction and processing of data from unstructured documents such as invoices, forms, contracts and more. Um, this process typically involves using algorithms to identify and extract relevant data from documents such as names, addresses, dates and amounts and then converting that data into a structured format that can be used by other business applications. Um, by automating document processing, organizations can reduce manual effort. They can improve accuracy and increase efficiency in a variety of business processes. Okay, sounds interesting. So, so why should businesses consider using IBM automation document processing? There are so many reasons. Um, traditional document capture solutions just can't meet the demands of today's digital world. Uh, traditionally, information was in known predictable document types, such as forms and doc databases. Um, however, this structured data represents only 20% of data, and the remaining 80% is locked in complex and variable documents. It's here that IBM automation document processing really comes into its own. You can model and process new documents rapidly using machine learning. I really want to stress the importance here of IBM's automation document processing's use of advanced AI and machine learning technologies um, to provide businesses with a no code tool. This is really important because it means that you don't need knowledge of coding, um, so it makes it an accessible and easy solution to use. Um, it speeds up the deployment of intelligent document processing by knowledge workers and because they don't need specialized skills or they, you don't have to train the, the application um, by feeding it thousands of different uh, samples. So this solution really allows you to adapt quickly to new documents using AI, um, deliver more data to business applications and often without any human interaction. Um, so ultimately, you're reducing project lead times and getting a faster return of in, on investment. Okay, uh, so that, those are some really good reasons. Uh, it, have you got any examples that you can share with us about uh, which sort of illustrate how end users can benefit from this solution? Yeah, so first and foremost, ADP can help streamline workflows um, and save a lot of time and resources. So instead of manually processing documents, which can be incredibly time consuming and prone to errors, um, automation document processing, you know, so that's ADP for short, um, it, it can automatically classify and extract key data from unstructured documents. So um, businesses can spend less time on manual data entry, um, more time on higher value tasks. Um, usually this has a knock on effect of uh, improving customer service. Um, another benefit is the improved compliance and governance. So with ADP, you can ensure that sensitive data within documents is properly classified um, and managed in accordance with regulation requirements. Uh, ADP also enables you to standardize document processing across your organization, reducing inconsistencies and ensuring data accuracy. Um, additionally, so ADP can help your organization make more informed decisions by providing quick and easy access to high quality data. Um, so by automatically extracting structured data from unstructured documents, you can get a deeper insights into the customer's needs, preferences, behaviors, that kind of thing. Um, you can use that information to inform business strategies and drive better in outcomes. So yeah, overall, the end benefits of um, IBM automation document processing are significant. Um, you've got improved productivity, compliance, data insights, and your organization can stay ahead of the curve and remain competitive in today's fast-paced business environment. I see. Okay. So uh, can you give us an example of how it might be used? 
Yes. Yeah, so imagine you're a health insurance company um, that deals with medical claims documents. These documents can be incredibly complex and filled with lots of unstructured information, making it time consuming and labor intensive for your employees to extract the information needed to process claims. Um, and this is where IBM document processing comes in. By deploying the solution, the healthcare provider can pr quickly build out solutions to process each claim. Um, no matter how complex the document is. So the out of the box machine learning models that come with the solution can jump start the training for each form. So it, it very quickly, the system can recognize essential information um, such as patient data, dates, addresses, and contact information automatically. Okay. Um, so how can businesses go about deploying IBM automation document processing or ADB. ADP, automatic oh. automation document processing. Yeah, so course, yeah, yeah. It, it, it's exclusively licensed as part of the Cloud Pack for Business Automation. So IBM's Cloud Pack for Business Automation. So IBM Cloud Pack for Business Automation uh, is a hybrid container-based platform uh, for building and running intelligent automation applications on any cloud system. So it could be whether that's um, on-premises or a hybrid or on cloud. Um, the platform is designed to be highly scalable and flexible, and uh, you can deploy it, your applications wherever you need them. Um, to start with, IBM Automation Document Processing, you'd first need to, to purchase that license for that I, um, cloud pack. And then the deployment is done through the use of containers. So with these self-contained packages of software, um, and they include everything you need to run the application. So uh, you can get going and easily deploy these and manage them, manage your automation applications. Okay, great. So uh, finally then, um, what would be the key takeaway for our listeners? Right, I'd say that IBM Automation Document Processing, ADP, is a game changer for businesses that re rely heavily on document processing. So by automating the extraction and processing of data from unstructured documents, ADP helps organizations save time, reduce errors, and improve customer experiences. With IBM Automation Document Processing, companies can really take advantage of advanced machine learning models that pre-built extraction capabilities and customizable workflows to streamline their document processing opera operations. Uh, whether it's in finance, healthcare, or any other industry, ADP has the potential to transform the way that businesses handle their documents. So if you're looking to improve your document processing operations and stay ahead of the competition, then you really should be considering adopting IBM automation document processing. Okay, brilliant. Well, that's all we have time for today. Um, so don't forget to visit our website and download our handy PDF to find out more. Um, thank you, Claire, for joining us and sharing your insights on IBM automation document processing. Thank you for having me. Okay, thanks for listening to the Data Skill podcast, and we'll see you next time.